Hi. <coughs> Hi. This is Trey Passer. Uh, tonight, the Mets play the first game in nine years. They play a first playoff game in nine years, and the game's going to begin in about less than 40 minutes. And I'm super stoked for this, and I wanted to kind of document it for my channel and, you know, for all you fellow Mets fans out there. Uh, you know, I know we got a, a tough, you know, we're facing two great pitchers in these first two games in L.A., but I have faith in my Metsies, and all we need is a split. Just win one of the games. That's all we need to get the, get the series back to City Field. I'll come back to City Field, and we had Matt Harvey going in Game 3, and I got a good feeling about him in Game 3. And I'm just super psyched for the, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of I'm amped up for this. I went to work <laughs> today. My, my friend, fellow uh, co-worker, Vince, told me to wear my Met gear, and I wore my Met gear, and I wore my Met shirt that I have over there, and of course, I had to wear this shirt underneath that, <laughs> you know, and now I got my my uh, rally cap, <laughs> my hat, playoff hat, and I'm ready, and I'm going to try to maybe every two innings, you know, film a little something in between, you know, in between the, the second innings, maybe after the first two innings, you know, film something, and then fourth inning, then the sixth inning, then the eighth inning, and of course, the ninth inning, uh, either way, however the game turns out, but I just want to document it, but, you know, I got faith in my Mets, you know, they, you know, they've overcome a lot, and I have faith in this team, and I I think they'll, I think they can overcome the Dodgers, I know a lot of people are pitch, you know, are freaking because they're too great, and they are two great pitchers, uh, you know, Jack, uh, Branky and Kershaw, they are two great pitchers, but I think, like I said, we, we, we've beaten both of them, actually, this season, so it's, it's possible to be done, you know, they're great pitchers, no, no doubt about it. But I think we can, I think we can beat them. I think we can beat them all. You know, like I said, all we got to beat do is, and even if they pitch four times, which I don't think they are, I think maybe Grant uh, Kershaw will pitch twice, maybe uh, twice. I think definitely, I think Kershaw will pitch twice. I don't know if Granky will pitch twice, although it's a very possibility, especially if the game series goes five. You know, they can throw him in there, you know, because they got nothing to lose if they're losing. Yeah, you know, so. So it's possible, I guess, they can pitch twice. But I got a feeling that only Kershaw will pitch twice, I think. And I think Matt's will. I didn't look at the latest thing and know if Matt was going to pitch game four or Steve Matt's, but I hope he will. I hope he is because I know he did, <coughs> excuse me, good in this you know, simulated game. They did uh, uh, in Florida on, on Friday, yesterday, I think Thursday, and then he was supposed to play catch today, I think. And then if he came out good from that, they were going to – Put them on the roster, postseason roster, which I hope they do, because um, I want to see. I want these young guys to, to you know get that playoff experience in there. I'm happy with our team, and I'm loving our rotation. You know, the terms that I'm, and I really like Syndergaard pitching the second game because that last game that he pitched against uh, Cincinnati, he was just dealing. I, I watched that game from beginning to end, and he was dealing in that game. And he pitched that game on the road. So that's two consecutive road games that he pitched great because he was having trouble early in the season pitching on the road. But he was really dealing. His curve and, oh, his fastball. His curve was just a thing of beauty. And along with that heat that he brings. So I'm good about him, especially pitching game two. I think it could close in. Now, the Grom, I like him while here and all. And I think he'll pitch good tonight. So it's just a matter of if he can give us six good innings, which I think he can. And you got the seven, eight, and nine set up. You can put, uh, you know, you can Addison Reed, uh, uh, what's his name from the, I can't, I can't remember his name, sorry. And you get the ball to Familia. Uh, damn, I can't think of his name. They the guy from Oakland who used to play for the Yankees. I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank on his name. But uh, if they can, you know, if, if, uh, <laughs> DeGrom can give us six good innings, seven would be great. But then I might be greedy asking for seven. But if he can give a seven, great. And that means he's pitching great. And then just give it to Addison Reed and then Familia. I'll be happy with that. Uh, okay, so I don't want it come down to because I think Nice is going to be on the roster in the bulk. And I didn't even look at the even think to see what the schedule is. But hopefully he won't. <laughs> well, hopefully, well, even if he is, like I said, he's good for he's good for a batter two before he implodes. So hopefully that won't come to that. And like I said, hopefully. Cespedes gets hot. He cooled down a little bit towards the end of the season, but hopefully he gets hot. And hopefully Darnell, who was my real big, I think could be the real MVP of this series, if he hits, okay, because he's been struggling and pitting and swinging way too fast. 
you know, especially when the Mets are in the middle of a rally, he tends to swing at the first pitch, which absolutely kills momentum. Hopefully he'll learn, learn but if somebody spoke to him, hopefully the hitting coach spoke to him and said, listen, if we're in the midst of a rally, the pitch is struggling, do not swing at the first pitch, okay? Okay? Take a pitch, make that pitcher work, make him earn it, okay? Don't swing, you know, but I understand that's Kershaw, you may want to be aggressive because he throws, I think they say he turns to throw fastballs, you know, straight away, and so you have to try to get him early before he, you know, let him get deep in the count, but so... That way, I can see him being aggressive against Kershaw. Okay, so, but other than that, I just think I have faith in the players, and hopefully, we can pitch a good game. Hopefully, uh, like I said, the Rome will pitch a, a good game, give us six good innings. Uh, that's, I'll be more than happy with that. And this turnover to our bullpen, I like that our bullpen is short now. We don't have to worry about no Carlos Torres, no uh, uh, O'Flaherty, <laughs> no uh, Parnell. Parnell, ugh. Ugh, Parnell. Makes me sick. To my stomach. Hopefully none of that. So, well, he's not on the roster anyway, so I don't have to worry about that. Anyway, I don't, see, I don't think he is. <laughs> I gotta look. I gotta go look at the post streams and watch it before the game set, but I don't think Parnell's on it. I'll look at it to see what the final roster is. Anyway, but I'm gonna try to interrupt this, uh, go every two innings and make a little comment about what's happening in the game and stuff, what the score is, and this do it second inning, fourth inning, sixth, and then eighth, and then the ninth, of course, and my post game comments and see, you know, tell you how I feel about the Mets. So hopefully, like I said, we'll win this game. I would like to win the first game. It's just to set a tone. Just, you know, win the first game. I know asking them to win two games might be pushing it. <laughs> okay, but I would be ecstatic if they won two games, but, you know, especially against these two fantastic pitches, these animals, as Collins calls them. This, but we're, All we need is a split. That's all we need. Either tonight or tomorrow night. It's going to win one of those games and get it back to City Field. Okay, then I like our chances at City Field. This as well. I think we can win two games at home. So anyway, that's it for now, and I'll see you again. Uh, my fellow Mets fans, let's go Mets. At the uh, end of the second inning, I'll pop in again and make another video, and I'll edit all these together, okay? And then upload the video to YouTube, okay? So, let's go Mets. Got faith, Vinny. Got faith on you, okay, Vinny? Keep the faith, Vince. And I'm sure I'll be communicating with my friend Vince from work via uh, text messages. We tend to do that when we watch the Met game. So, uh, let's go. Let's go, Mets! Hi, just wanted to pop in. First pitch, just commercial break away. <laughs> that commercial break, so uh, let's, uh, let's go, Mets. And let's go, Mets. And I'll be back after the second inning with my update, okay? Okay, it's the... Top the end of the second inning. Uh, Jacob Jungham gave up two hits, really one hit. The second hit that was given up in this inning, this bottom of the second ball that sailed over, you know, looked like Michael Kadire ran in. Then he ran, had to run back up to try to catch it. It would have been a real regular fly ball, but he he ran in first and he had to retreat back and it went over his head and he gave him a double, uh, turn or a double, which shouldn't have been a double. I think I, I should have been an error because he he misjudged the ball, Kadire. Anyway, uh, Jacob DeGrom, uh, Kershaw is the and the Mets only got really one hit, really, uh, Duda, who hit a ball that was going up the middle, and Kershaw kind of kicked, and he got an infield single, and David Wright got on in the first inning. Uh, but Kershaw is dealing, I think he has four strikeouts so far, and it's going to be tough. I think the you know, Mets going to have to run up his pitch count. Hopefully they, hopefully they can get it. Hope. But Jacob DeGrom is, I like the way he, he battled this, because Turner, that, that, double, that, just, that double that he got, was really, you know, that was a, you know, it was no outs. That was a, he was a lead hitter in that inning. So, uh, Jacob Degrom covered it and got the three outs that he had to get out. Uh, so good. They intentionally walked, uh, you know, the, the uh, what you call it? I forgot the guy's name. He was a rookie for the Dodgers who had 26 home runs. Intentionally walked him to get the Kershaw, which was a smart move. And they added the inning. Now the top of the third inning is coming up, and I'll see you again at the end of the fourth. Okay, and hopefully the Mets can get some, get some runs. Uh, Jacob Degrom is going to lead off. Okay, so let's hope we can scratch out a run or two because Kershaw looks like he's dealing, especially that curve. The Mets are kind of, you know, reach, you know, reaching for that curve, you know, for that, that off-speed stuff, which I think they should switch on his fastball, but that's just me. I'll be back at the end of the fourth. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> the fourth inning just ended. It was first and second, and Clayton Kershaw, of all people, uh, battled the Rome to three and two count, and then he hit a ball that 
was carrying the center field. Uh, Cespedes had to go back, but he made an easy catch. Crisis averted. <laughs> okay. Uh, still one nothing Mets. You know, Murphy hit a home run the last inning. Love you, Murph. Uh, solo home run. This looks like this is going to be a tight game. I hope the Mets can scratch out another run, maybe. Uh, just another run because Kershaw looks like he's dealing. And Murph's the only one who had a really good swing. Well, him and, uh, and Granderson actually on the first pitch of the first game, you know, he had a first pitch fastball to right field. But he's the only, I think Murphy's the only one who's had a really good, and, and I guess Duda too, that kind of, you know, that, that single that was headed up the middle that uh, Kershaw kicked. But I think what you call it, Cespedes has struck out twice already. Uh, and Kadaya has has really huh, two balls that or doubles that he that he should have caught that he ran. I don't know what he was thinking about when he ran after those balls. Luckily, the bum bailed him out both times. But uh, oh, uh, who I think who's batting? I think Tejada's leading off. I think in this and then so I think Degrom can give you. It's by end of the fourth, so I think DeGrom can pitch two more innings. I think then I think he might be done after that. And that's why I hope the Mets can scratch out another run and hopefully get and maybe Karsha. I don't know what his pitch count is, but he's he's like he's dealing. But hopefully uh Mets can scratch, scratch out another run or two. Okay, anyway, I'll be back at the end of the six, okay? Let's go, Mets. Okay, now it's the top of the seventh. Jacob DeGrom has struck out 11 guys, set a new Mets uh, franchise record for a playoff game, 11 punch outs. He's dealing. He's at 100 pitches. Let him pitch the seventh inning, Terry Collins. Do not take him out, okay? Let him pitch the seventh inning. Do not, In fact, do not take him out unless he gets into trouble, okay? Let him pitch the seventh and the eighth. Like, damn, pitch cop be damned. You have Steven Matz to pitch game four, okay? So let unless Jacob DeGrom... Gets into trouble, let him pitch the seventh and the eighth, okay? And then you can be familiar in for the ninth if you want to. But I hope, I'm hoping the Mets can score some runs in the top of the seventh. Get two more runs. I'll, I'll be a lot more or less tense if there was it was the score was three nothing, okay? But Jacob Degrom is dealing tonight. He really, really is proving uh, what a what a clutch performance. Eleven punch outs, okay? He set a franchise record. For punch outs in a you know in a, in a playoff game, 11 punch outs again. He's 100 pitches, but let him pitch Terry Collins until he gets into trouble. So if he can pitch the seventh and the eighth, which I'm hoping he can, and then you can bring him familiar for the ninth. Okay, do not take him out. Okay, and do not under any circumstance bring in some Jonathan Neese. Okay, not in this tight game. I'm sorry, I do not want Jonathan Neese pitching in this tight game. Okay, so let's hopefully mess and score some some runs. Assessment has just missed a home run. And Danny Murphy just missed the pitch too. Enough, but I'm hoping they can score two more runs. And remember, Terry Collins, do not take out Jacob DeGrom unless he gets into trouble. Okay, I don't want to see Jonathan Neese in this game unless the Mets score five more runs. Okay, because I don't think uh, Kershaw's coming out. I think Kershaw's going to probably pitch eight innings probably. Okay, and he got I think he's got like how many strikeouts? Got twelve or something like that. He's ridiculous. Okay, but anyway, I'll see you at the after the bottom of the eight. Okay. <laughs> The eighth inning, woof. Uh, Jacob DeGrom, what can I say? He, I think he had 11 strikeouts, or is it 13? I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm just too hyped, but he set a record for a Mets, uh, I think, for a Mets rookie in a playoff game. Anyway, uh, he put seven great innings, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Tyler Clifford came in and got two outs, but he gave up a, a double to, um, what's his name, Ke Howie Kendrick, and then he gave up a single to uh, Adrian Bell, not Adrian Bell, trainer, Adrian Gonzalez. So then, uh, wisely, Terry Collins brought in Familia, who got Justin Turner to, to hit a shot to uh, first base for Murphy, who's who's playing first now that they took uh, Duda out and put uh, uh, Johnson in, uh, in second base. So, whew, now there's three more outs for me. There's three more outs, and we got a three to one lead. David Wright had a big two key hit, a two run single with bases loaded. They took out Kershaw, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> He had struck out right twice, made him look silly, especially the second time. And but down in Madley, I think probably took him out because his pitch count was over 100, and he wants him to pitch probably game, not game three, probably game four. Uh, he wants him probably to come back or be able to pitch game three if they if it's necessary or be able to pitch. That's why I think he took him out. 
even though you, you never would protect because Kershaw was still dealing. And, but he walked three guys and walked the bases loaded. And then Don Manley came out and took him out. And that reliever that came in for them, he gave up a right, had a great at bat and got a nice hit up the middle, scored two runs. Now we got a three nothing lead. And like I said, Tyler Clifford gave up a, a double to Kendrick and then a single to Adrian Gonzalez. And so it was three to one. And then thankfully for me, they came in and got uh, just, Justin Turner to hit a, a shot to uh, uh, Danny Murphy at first. And thankfully, we're out. Hopefully, try to score some more runs at the top of the night. And then we got three one lead for Amelia, a two run lead. Please, there's three more outs. And we got game one. <sighs> Just hold on. Let's come on. That's three more outs. That's all we need to get that important split already. Thank you. Yes, the Mets won game one. Ugh. For me, I got the four out save. Three to one. We won the first game. Jacob DeGrom, what can I say about him? He had 13 strikeouts. He pitched seven strong innings. Oh my god, what a what a what a first playoff game. He was the, he was money. I mean he was right, he battled Kershaw. Kershaw right up there. And like I said, the key at bat was was when Kershaw walked the bases loaded and David Wright <laughs> got that, you know, they took him out and then he got David Wright got that two run single off that reliever for the Dodgers to give the Mets a three nothing lead. That was the that was it. That was the move of the game. When when Manley came out and took out Kershaw. So now Kershaw is like one and six or one and seven, I think something like that in the playoffs. But it doesn't matter. We won the game we had to win. Get a split. Okay, now we're playing with house money. Now I want to win tomorrow. Okay? I want to win tomorrow. Uh. Yes. Yes. I uh. Oh, sorry. I, I was trying to, in the middle of this, I was telling my friend who was, we was texting back and forth during the highlights of the game. Uh, <clears throat> he's asking where the video, I told him I'm, I'm going to upload this video once I edit it together. And uh, so he can watch it probably, probably tomorrow. But I'm going to upload this video probably and wash up and then go to sleep. <laughs> because I want to go to movies tomorrow and then get back up town and watch the second game. But I want Thor to win tomorrow. I thought Thor is good. Thor is a good pitcher to have because he's been great on the road the past two games. So let's go Mets. We won the first game we got that one the split that we need we won the one game so at least guaranteed they're going to be at least four games okay right yeah got to be at least four games now anyway but degrom is the man he's the mvp of this game him and david wright co-mvp because that 13 punch outs keeping the mets in the game and that key hit that wright got so let's go mets and i'll see you tomorrow on my second video diary i guess for my mets playoff run that's what i guess i call i call my video diary for the mets run okay trade pass saying so long take care